Nightclubs are the black hole of humanity. Nothing good or productive happens after dark. Waking sober in the morning, having a wonderful day, and safely returning home at night is way better. If you feel like a simp when entering a club, you're right. You probably are. It's simple. Feminism would love nothing more than to give women the power to simply point at a random man on the street and extort him for child support or have him jailed for their own regret. The balance is slowly shifting back to common sense in some places, but anywhere large numbers of phonies with zero self-awareness congregate. You will see this sort of thing in clubs. Stay safe. Even the cop that arrests you might understand it's baseless crap but that won't help you once you're fed into the system. It's not like clubs weren't fun before. Before Western society got poisoned by certain segments of society, the music was good, social media didn't have that big of a hold on people, the women actually dressed classy most of the time, and everybody went dancing. You didn't regret going there even if you struck out every time. But today, it's like you don't get to choose the guests, you don't get to choose the music. Everything is expensive. The women are all dressed up to a point that looks absurd in daylight, and all the other guys are competing against you. You have better chances of meeting a good woman literally anywhere else. You'll only meet a special kind in these nightclubs, and if you're a simp, you'll be her prey. The cost of a night at a bar or club has gone up much faster than average wages. The ROI was never good, to begin with, but now is abysmal. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to see it's a waste of time, energy, and money. Nightclubs aren't what they used to be or what people think they are today, we can all agree on that. When you go to a nightclub, you'll see that there are a lot of people waiting in queues outside to enter. The bouncers keep an eye out to make sure only the hottest girls and the guys who are with attractive women are allowed to enter. The weird thing is, Everybody seems to think that the club would be at full capacity inside with guys and girls having the time of their lives inside. However, as you enter, you discover that it is not quite as crowded as it appears from the outside. And even in the winter, you see women waiting outside with almost nothing but high heels, shivering in the cold, and you wonder why they would go to such lengths for a single night out at the club. To be completely honest, I didn't think much about this before I took the RP and went on to go my own way. I reflected on how foolish these individuals must be for spending hours waiting outside of clubs and for women to queue up while wearing high heels in the chilly weather. We've all heard that wearing high heels is meant to enhance a woman's beauty by emphasizing her curves and defining the contour of her legs. However, we rarely hear that wearing high heels affects men's behavior. A recent study from France suggested high heels help women get whatever they want from men more efficiently. In an experiment, the study had women wearing flats and heels stand on the street to try and get people to respond to the survey. The woman wearing flats barely had anyone stop for the survey. The woman wearing small heels had more than half of the men stop by and respond to her questions eagerly. And when a woman wore a big heel, Nearly all men stop to help her with the survey. For me, high heels are like a test because it's statistically proven it does something to men that makes them want to go above and beyond to cater to what women want. And women know this, they use this, and men keep falling for the high heel trap. But if a man is aware and woke regarding the reality behind high heels, he can easily pass the test. So be warned guys, don't just go running to help that damsel in distress who's wearing high heels. It's a test, because if men give in to the high heel temptation, it will only lead to them buying drinks and food for women who will just be using their heels to their advantage. I mean, the whole idea of high heels being a symbol of patriarchy is contradictory. Why would men be willingly manipulated to cater to the needs of women wearing high heels who are only wearing them to get what they want, right? It really doesn't make sense. Why do women who probably have dozens of shoes still prefer wearing high heels? They know it's their special weapon to get what they want. It all comes down to women wanting power over men. During my clubbing days, 
when I chose to go with women who wore flats and pants instead of heels and those really short skirts, they were constantly ignored by bouncers who let the women with the heels and skirts inside the club. Maybe they looked more like club material, or maybe it was their vulnerability out in the cold and open that let the bouncers make their decision. I believe it's a bit of both. When a woman who's barely wearing anything walks past a club, it automatically attracts attention not only toward her, but to the club as well, which is what the club wants. I think this is one of the main reasons why men who are swimming in the BP pool line up to such clubs, where there's always a line of women in miniskirts and heels, shivering in the cold. It brings up this urge to protect them, and when they go inside, they buy drinks for them to try to make them warm and comfortable. That is until they're just sidelined and told they're not their type or some other reason. So, getting to know a woman and deciding if you're going to buy a woman a drink is something that starts way before you enter the club. It's a complete game. I was in my teens when I started going to nightclubs, mostly all age events where the girls ranged from 14 to 18 years of age and the guys from their teens to their 20s. So, you could be a guy in your late 20s and get to be with a girl aged 14 or 15. This was before the age of consent was 16. I never realized this at that time. That I could have also slept with a naive and generally nice girl who wasn't aware of how the clubbing world works. But as years passed, I grew out of the clubbing culture and focused on being in relationships rather than being one of those guys. I just didn't find the idea appealing that you're expected to do everything you possibly can for girls and buy them drinks in clubs. Otherwise, other older, who were also financially more stable, could instead take that place and you'd be left alone. It just wasn't a favorable situation. And you know what? Once women realize they have power over men in this clubbing culture, they tend to maximize the exploitation. You're the person she'll lean on the whole night to have a really good time and she might even puke in your car on the way back, which is something women think is totally okay for some reason. Even cab drivers mostly try to avoid drunk women for the same reason. Young women frequent clubs to feed off the attention and affirmation they get from men of various sizes and ages. Club-going teenage girls draw large crowds as well. They improve the club standing, allowing for more ticket and beverage sales. The brand equity of clubs that are frequented by young, attractive girls in their prime rises dramatically since everyone wants to go there. Clubs are more akin to zoos, where visitors throng to see exotic animals like majestic tigers or beautiful birds. The zoo owners do everything in their power to increase their visibility. So this is the harsh reality for single men who go to nightclubs. It's a circus, guys. It's a circus where the club owners want hot young women to be seen outside and within their clubs so that it can attract more people. The bouncers are trained to keep some of the women in the queue so people can see how great the club is, and they're also trained to let the good-looking women inside mostly. They're also trained to ensure that not everyone can get in to keep an air of exclusivity around the club. The single guys who can get in will spend a lot of money buying drinks for women who will forget about them the next day. The rest of the single guys will wait outside and get rejected, eventually damaging their own self-esteem. To be honest, this is for all the guys out there. The girls that you do find in these clubs are exactly the girls you need to stay away from. They're going to ruin your future, and if you still keep running back to these clubs, you're a certified simp. Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us your love and support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. And let us know your thoughts on this in the comments. We're always up for a healthy debate and discussion.